Hi there and welcome back to the vlog. Oh wow, I don't think I've ever looked this shiny. Today's video is going to be a pack with me and travel with me for our trip to Australia. I have pin curls stuck in my head and I look like a shiny mess. I've done facial tanner and then I also have done my developing tan as well. So yeah, I definitely look a little bit crazy. So apologies about that. But I'm going to talk you through basically how I pack for big trips like this. I'm going to share with you all of my tips and tricks for traveling, for packing, for like optimizing space um, and what products are like must haves for me when I travel. I will say I'm not quite as low maintenance as I used to be. I do like having quite a few products with me and obviously this trip is a long haul one we are going for about three weeks and we're going to like Australia summer so it is going to be very hot so we're doing an eight hour flight from Dublin to Doha then we have a few hours of a layover and then we're getting on the longer haul and I believe that is 13 hours I think and then that's Doha to Brisbane. Before we get into the actual packing the prep that I've done for this trip well the beauty prep I should say I do as many treatments as I can to be as low maintenance as possible so it's kind of like being high maintenance before the trip so you can be low maintenance on the trip. So for me the things that I like to get done are a brow lift so I get that done in Anna Ray Artistry um, she's fantastic. She's actually based in Sally Noggin. I'll leave a link to her website below. I get my lashes lifted in uh, Permanent Beauty by Inga. She's based in the city centre. I'll leave her below. And then I get my nails done in the Dublin Beauty Lounge by Susie. She is incredible. And I get a builder base and it is indestructible like these will last i also do my tan so i have my facial tan i think it's the dripping gold one then my body tan is actually the one hour aero mist from bondi sands i'll link that below it's my first time using it it's really nice i slept in the mousse and it's super natural and then i get my hair done as well i got my color done i think a week and a half ago in uh queen which i will link in the description below they're based in slorgan and in the city center um i've air wrapped my hair and i've pinned it in the curls i'll probably sleep in these we are going to be traveling for 24 hours so i'm not expecting to arrive with stunning hair. However, it's just as easy for me to blow dry and pin it. And then it'll probably keep some sort of bounce while I'm traveling. But anyway, those are my beauty prep things that I do. Now I'm gonna show you the packing situation. So it's probably gonna look a bit chaotic, but it is a bit of an organized chaos. So just bear with me, okay? First off, we have my suitcase. This is the large um, suitcase from Antler Luggage. I think I got these at the beginning of the summer. I have this large one, and then Yosef is using my smaller check-in, and then he's also using my carry-on, and then I have a separate carry-on case as well. So these are really, really sturdy, and I've taken this check-in case on quite a few trips, and there has been no issues with it so far. Here is the case i'll explain this side in a minute but first off let's open her up it's pretty much packed i actually don't have anything in these guys yet i don't even know do i need them but look at this these are packing cubes and honestly they are a godsend i will link the exact ones that i use in the description they're from amazon i think they're like 13 pounds and they're brilliant i have them all sectioned off i think this is bottoms and dresses and then this one is kind of beachwear and all of my like swimwear and then i think these ones are like tops and bottoms um it is quite a lot of clothing but as i said i'm going for three weeks and we're going to be spending the first i think two weeks in byron bay which is going to be really tropical and very very warm and it'll be very relaxed and then we're going to sydney where we'll be doing like some nice dinner some nice evenings out we've got like a nice evening plan for new year's so i want to have a mix of like dressier kind of city stuff for sydney and then super chill relaxed kind of holiday stuff for byron bay so there's a nice mix in here packing cubes if you don't have them spend like the 15 euro and save yourself so much hassle when you're traveling everything is then sectioned into compartments it also helps you fit so much more in your case so so handy so honestly can't recommend those enough they're linked below so let's go over to this compartment look the first thing you're seeing is this awful tan mitt excuse the color of this tan mitt they always go an awful color but this right here is kind of like my awkward sized things so first off we have my hats these are both from brixton they are so so nice i know you shouldn't pack hats like this but if you're really careful they actually do survive and i've packed these a few times before and they've been fine they're so so pretty they're really really wide brim and then this is a much softer um, sun hat. It's actually really handy. It's wired. So like you can squish this into a ball 
all and then just shape it to whatever way you want so it's like a nice little two different styles of hats then my belt and my hairband just lives in there because the shape kind of fits this is like basically miscellaneous i don't know is this really bad but i've thrown in loose um floss picks because like i didn't have a plastic bag to separate them we have a little razor it has a cap on it these are the detox and de bloat from js health uh, but the detox and de bloat are great for traveling they do have some cotton buds here this is my scrubber for my cleanser it's actually so handy for um, giving your face a good wash i can see some nipple covers hiding in there the mosquitoes love me so i get absolutely eaten alive and i feel like the bites come up on me more than the usual person i know there's quite a few people who also su like not suffer with this it's not that bad but it is quite annoying when you travel so there are a few things that i pack with me as a kind of help for stuff like that i don't think there's any real way to avoid getting bitten you can wear the deet you can wear the right clothing you'll probably still get bitten but i'm going to show you some of my kind of things that i do to try and help with the mosquito situation so i mentioned the b12 um apparently if you keep topped up on that it makes you somewhat less desirable to them this thing here i'll insert a picture of it this you can see it says there this says bite away this is a pen to neutralize a mosquito bite so basically this bite pen applies heat it's supposed to deactivate or like break down the protein in the bite it's something that mosquito leaves behind when it bites you that causes the itch and the swelling so i use this on my bites and i have to say i've used this for a few years and it actually does work so in here i have my medicine pouch which has all different like medications things you might need when you travel like then my disgusting looking tan mitt this one is for putting on uh, instant tan. My developing tan mitt is there and then I have some tan as well. So the liquid situation is probably the hardest thing for me with traveling because I like a lot of products. I'm always super careful with the sun when I travel. So down here is all of my sun cream. It's mostly Vichy and La Roche-Posay. They're just really, really good. This is my CeraVe makeup remover. I have this Alter Ego leave-in conditioner. This has a UV uh, protection filter, which I think will be really good in the sun. I can see my Bobbi Brown primer there. That's some Rimmel instant tan and then oh my god the weight of this honestly another quick travel hack is that when you do your developer tan if you're traveling somewhere for a few days if you bring like a developing tan moisturizer it is the best way to keep your tan topped up it's so gradual it's really easy to use another thing that i do is i put my liquids bag in another plastic bag just in case there's an explosion it's like an extra layer of protection in the rest of your case right so i've tied that up and popped that back in there this is so so handy especially when we're in byron when it's super laid back if we're like just popping down to the shop to get coffees or anything like that like this is going to be very handy then in this guy here i have my makeup these little travel pouches are actually very handy i believe they're amazon i will link them below this is my makeup this was me trying to whittle it down i have two of the benetint products i'm actually going to try these for the first time i think when i get over there do a little tiktok um trying them when i get there we have some pearl beauty this blush is amazing this ysl is a really nice lightweight um foundation it'll be great in the heat i also picked up a waterproof mascara this is the essence extreme volume it's supposed to be amazing i've heard really good reviews and it was like three euro which is amazing another cheap and cheerful product is the got to be glued um brow gel they based this off their spiking gel that everybody was using for their brows which i think is super clever and i have some clinique foundation there's a lot of like tinted spfs in here because i feel like actually some of these are kind of running out so i feel like i'm going to use this up on the trip and then just get rid of it i have definitely focused on more cream products because i feel like in the heat my skin is just going to way prefer that but i have some powder eyeshadows here this is a gorgeous little quad i think these are called the charlotte tilbury palette of pops and this is such a beautiful color range i think this is like perfect holiday palette glowgasm they're like blushy light wand i know this is quite a lot of product i have the space in my case and i like having a few to like pick from and again we're going away for three weeks i like all my bits what can i say comment below if you're all also someone who brings this much makeup on a holiday so this little pouch also came with my packing cubes and honestly i cannot recommend them enough i need to buy a second set for yosef in here is all of my underwear i've got underwear socks uh, so this is a mini even though it's not very mini mosquito like killing light it was probably like 10 pounds on amazon it's usb rechargeable i think it has a solar thing here as well what i'm going to do for this is put it on at night in the room this is just that extra precaution that i probably don't need but for the sake of 10 pounds and the space it takes in my case i'm happy to see if it works so then you can see there's kind of a hole in the center of the case and then my hat just pops down there and you can see that even when you push it it's kind of protected 
so I'll just judge it a little bit and make sure that it's as flat as possible before I close the case and I've traveled with it a few times before like this and it hasn't um, wrecked the stiffness of the the woven part of the hat so I think it should be fine. Okay, now we're moving on to my carry-on case. And this is where I think you can really save on the weight in your main luggage. So in here, I tend to put heavier items. So in this little drawstring bag, which again came in the packing cube set, is my pair of white Birkenstocks and then my Nike uh, like pool slides. I'm actually very minimal on the shoes for this trip. There's only one <laughs> sandal that I basically wear in the heat and it's my Birkenstocks. Then I have the only pair of heels that I'm bringing for this whole trip and it's these ones i think they're h&m they're still available i'll link them they are so comfortable these big chunky straps are brilliant they're low enough to be comfortable but they are high enough to give you that heel vibe do you know what i mean then what i also have in here is basically and i need to fold these and probably separate them out i have like a mix of clothing just in case our bag gets delayed or gets lost so i've got one bikini set one swimsuit i have a pair of shorts this is another oh no that's a pair of trousers and then I have a white linen shirt a t-shirt and there's the bottom of the bikini and I also have some spare underwear down here this is a long sleeve zippy um rash guard but it the idea is that it's sun protection and I love being out in the water I love like diving I love swimming I'm hoping to do some surfing for the first time on this trip so the idea is that this will just have me completely covered I don't even have to worry about SPF um, so I'll just wear this with my swimsuit or with my bikini another packing tip I massively recommend with your check-in luggage is just to pop one of those little tracking tags in it um, you can buy them on Amazon they're not that expensive you can put them in your luggage I have mine in like a zipped compartment in here so mine is in this little zipped compartment in here inside the case and it just means that you can track your luggage wherever it is in the world if I was bringing any like expensive bags or um I don't know my jewelry or even sentimental things I would put them like I wouldn't check them in the plane basically I think the plane is for your clothes your bits but like nothing that is super super important just in case this is like my tech bag so in here I have my Dyson I'm bringing the long barrel attachment for curling the round brush for blow drying and then the hair dryer then I also have some travel adapters here I've brought two of these I'm pretty sure these are the Australian ones another travel hack that I learned from the lovely Lauren Arthurs is to bring a four bar I couldn't travel without this now this is like a must for me you're charging things like i have my vlog camera and then i also have this external battery pack which i will pop uh, in one of my cases just in case we're without battery when we travel this is a like digital scale and it's handheld so it goes around the strap of your bag and it gives you an accurate reading it does like pounds and kilos and it's just so handy and it's super lightweight really really small i weigh this before i leave and then it's also really handy to bring with you for when you're coming home it takes all of the guests work out of it and with some airlines they are kind of strict on whether you're over or not so it's just a good way that you can suss the case situation so that goes in with my electronics and it's another very handy little travel hack right we are almost there the next thing i wanted to show you is this little travel jewelry case this is from Cezanne. i know lots of brands do them uh, but i will link this one in the description but it is very handy and it closes off and kind of keeps it protected i will probably pop these in there as well if i'm not wearing them tomorrow Oh my goodness, this is thirsty work. I've almost shown you everything. The next three things I'm going to show you. Now that I've started using them, I honestly couldn't travel without these three products. And the first one, it's a little bit bulky, but it is a travel steamer. Like depending on where you are, your hotel room might not have an iron. The iron might be shite. You might end up damaging your clothes. You know yourself. It's just... It's just so convenient. And if you're traveling for work and you have like, you know, a suit that you need to do or you're going to an event, like often when I travel for work, I might just be doing a night or two, you know, somewhere close, like in London. But if it's for work, I'm often going to events and like I need my clothes to be like looking somewhat decent. I would say it's worth the weight and the space that it takes up just for the convenience. This is the Downy Wrinkle Releaser Fabric Spray. This is like a miracle in a bottle. I bought it on Amazon. I think it came in like a pack of three and these are travel size. It's not 90 ml so you can bring it in your carry-on liquids so the idea behind this is that it is a wrinkle releaser spray but it also like freshens the clothes and acts as like an ironing aid if you arrive in and you're taking your dress or whatever out of your case it's completely wrinkled from like being packed you hang it up spray it with this leave it for a few minutes you can kind of smooth it down and pull it and the creases do fall out but what you can also do is spray it with that and then steam it 
chef's kiss it's like perfect it's so handy and it like freshens the garment as well i have larger bottles of this um i think they're by lenore and i'll insert a picture that i use uh in the house but these ones i use for travel which brings me on to my next thing i love this product so much it goes with me everywhere um and it is this tied to go pen it's a stain remover pen you push it down on the stain and then the liquid is released and then you just rub it and I swear to God, it's magic. It's just like coffee stains, food stains. Use this and you're good to go. Um, this isn't just a travel essential. I feel like this is a life essential and I keep these in my handbag. I, again, bought them on Amazon. I think they came in like a pack of three or four. If you have this and you have this, you'll be everybody's best friend when you're traveling, especially this if you have it in your handbag. And this brings me to my personal bag, like my handbag for the airport. This is going to be my uh, handbag for the airport, but also kind of for bopping around because it's kind of like a beach baggy style. This is basically what I'm going to be using in the airport and on the flight because everything else will kind of be packed away out of reach. So I'm going to start with this. This is my Louis Vuitton pochette accessories, I think it's called. This is the second handiest thing ever. I use this as like my night out bag when I'm on holidays because it's just so handy. It fits a lot of stuff, but it also works as like a, a purse in my bigger bag. Then I also have my Kindle. I love this cover. I have a big scrunchie to tie my hair up when I go to sleep. And this really soft one is great for like holding your blow dry or your waves. I have a little claw clip, my eye mask. This is just washed. I have my sunglasses. And then, oh, I also have a pair of cozy socks for the fly a little mini hairbrush and then everything else is sectioned into two pouches i am such a pouch gal when i travel i like everything being sectioned because if it isn't then i just lose everything i know these are loose but there's space for them in the bag but all the small stuff is sectioned so this is my liquids pouch it has all the stuff that i would use on the flight it has mouthwash um anti-back spray face mist some hand cream some lip balm a tide pen eye drops which i love on a flight um, some roll on oil because I'm still um, trying to oil my brows because I got them laminated. And then I have some makeup remover, some Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. And then this is like my non liquids pouch. So in here I have some eye patches from Elemis. These are lovely on flights just before you land. I have mint tea bags because I've recently become obsessed with drinking mint tea. It settles my stomach so much. I also have a few sachets of Revive Active, which is like a supplementy thing. Um, I figure on a flight is a good a time as any to have one. And then I also have some Dioralite sachets in here just in case I feel kind of dehydrated. I also have some earplugs down here. So these things right here are called Colgate Wisps and it's basically like a temporary toothbrush with a little dot of toothpaste and they're really handy for brushing your teeth on the go and they have this little pointy thing that you can kind of like clean between your teeth so i have like four of them chucked in there so that is basically everything that i'm packing um that took a bit longer than i thought it would to bring you through everything but there's a lot of info i feel like there's a lot of recommendations there that i hope help some of you as i said i will link everything that i can in the description below i would say my five top recommendations are the packing cubes the steamer the wrinkle release spray the tide pen the extension cable but i'm gonna repack everything uh, have something for dinner and then i'm going to have a very very early night because as i said we're up very early and i will show you the rest of the journey and actually i'm so excited about the flight because we're flying with Qatar we're flying business class for part of the trip um in the app they give you like an upgrade offer and we jumped on it because it's such a long journey so i will definitely show you what that's like and do my best to kind of vlog a little bit on the trip so for now i'm going to leave you to it so i'll talk to you tomorrow